laying down on the job. <laughs> I'm in a program called FIRST. So our team's part of this organization called FIRST Robotics. FIRST is just an outlet just to unleash my creativity. Children of all ages, from elementary school all the way up to high school, engages them in STEM programs. And recently we went to the championship competition. So on Wednesday we arrived at the school at 4 a.m. to load up the bus and get everyone on there to take a nine-hour bus ride all the way to St. Louis, Missouri. And while we're down there, first had booked basically the entire city of St. Louis for us. We had the Edward Domes Dome and the America Center booked out for the FLL and FRC. Going to World Champs is amazing. You see so many other teams from so many other parts of the world. This is what's probably my favorite part about Champs, is talking to everyone all around the world, hearing their stories, hearing their life experiences. It's incredible, there's nothing else like it. Once we got there, we set up our pits. We went to conferences. So I went to several conferences. The pit, in general, is an area where a team stores and works on their robot in between matches. There's just so much energy around, and there's so many people that are really passionate about what you are, which is amazing. If I were to compare it to something, it's more like a Comic-Con conference for robot nerds. That's how I like to describe it. Thursday, qualification rounds started. And at the end of the day, after a team played in four qualification rounds, where we won three games and lost one game, we were ranked 26. It, was, it wasn't bad. It wasn't quite what any of us expected. But I also went to the Innovation Fair, which is a fair that has all kinds of sponsors that are talking about what they offer and what they do, how they involve themselves in the public. There's all kinds of cool stuff that they give you, and there's activities to do. That has one giant whiteboard. We got a bunch of cool stuff on here. Near the end of the day, opening ceremonies happen, which a lot of CEOs from major STEM companies talk about how we're making a change and how we can collaborate with them in the future. Today's Friday. Yes. Right. Look at all those buttons. Team 2052, you gotta get our button on there. That's so cool. <laughs> nice. That's epic. All right, bye guys. Good luck with competition. During Friday, qualification rounds continued. We had six more qualification matches where we won five games and when we lost one game. The robotics team finished eighth, so which means we're going to be going into playoffs. We will be a, um, an alliance captain, so we'll be able to select three teams, but we're really hoping that another team chooses us, who's higher up the ranks, around first, second, or third. If that happens, then we'll, should be, we should be set. It might be a little bit hard for us to uh, make it far in playoffs, but you never really know. During Saturday, the award ceremony and alliance selection was in the morning. And they can shoot the other ones. They're better than Tinker's Auto Alliance. Yeah, you saw way more matches than Tinker's part of this. After finishing 125 qualification matches, I need team number 2052. During alliance selection, the fourth seed, team 2122, the Taters, Selected. Brand new Brown, Minnesota, that's Nightcrawler. Team 2052 Nightcrawler says, let's crawl together. <laughs> there you go. Team 
Then selected Team 3538, the Robo Jackets, and Team 41, the Robo Warriors. Thank you, Carson. We will see you at 9.30 to begin quarterfinal matches. Quarterfinals are underway, and in our first quarterfinal match, we won the match with a score of 222 to 217 in a nail-biter. In the second quarterfinal match, uh, we lost the game with a score of 215 to 225. Uh, primarily because their shooter was off and we missed a couple of shots. The entire team was on the edge of their seats because in the past three years at championships we have been eliminated in the quarterfinals and this time after winning the first match and losing the second match it was all reliant on the third match and whether we would advance or not. So we gotta win one more match. Oh, cross your fingers for us. Travers to the in three, two, one, charge! Seconds gets another editor, Otto. That gives them the lead as we enter to the operating period. In our second match, Night Carl having some issues with their aim. But it looks like that will not be a problem again this match as they go midfield for a new goal. Come on, 2052! Ah. Oh. In the third quarterfinal match, our alliance won with a score of 212 to 205. During the semifinals, our team managed to beat the number one seeded alliance in two matches. I remember that when I was coming into the stands, I was actually going to the bathroom and looking around the innovation fair for a while during the elimination rounds. And I came in and I kind of expected like, oh crap, I must miss our last match, we must have been eliminated. And I just looked and I just heard this great cheer. I'm like, oh my gosh, we're going to the finals of our division? So this is the farthest we have gotten in St. Louis ever. Finals in Carson Division. This is so exciting, I cannot wait for the final match. Back at it, running the summertime. Hit after hit like a drummer going double time. Beat to the fire, I'm rising to the grind. And I got a copper spot at the front of the line. I'm that go hard wild card, one of a kind. So check, check my name, say I won't resign. The top seems higher the farther I climb. As I boss to these rhymes and I fought for the time. Now I'm big, yeah, big as the stars have a line. Big rig, call me Optimus Prime. It took a little too long for your ocular lines to adjust quite as high as I do reside. Years at it and I never ask for nothing when it mattered. Couch surfing on the wake of disaster. This rapper overcame odds like even numbers on the brink of a break. You making something out of nothing and you <laughs> came on you just heard this great cheer and I could see in the back like a couple of my friends were just starting to cry. The feeling that I had when we won was kind of like I don't believe this. It was unbridled joy. Our robot was out there but it was also like a habit just for the rest of my team saying hey this is my last year as a senior and the rest of my teammates and me uh, are ending on Einstein so it was a very special moment for me. In the end we got eliminated during qualifications on Einstein Field. That's not too bad considering that not even four years ago that was our first time even going to St. Louis. So from four years being the first time going to being ranked seventh in the world, that's not bad at all. I'd say that is an excellent season for us.